In this module, we will learn to generate a graphical document for board design production. We will be adding a draftsman document to our project where we can interactively place board views, annotations, dimensions, and tables. This multi-page document can be used as a fabrication drawing, an assembly drawing, or both. In this lesson, we will make use of the Spirit Level SL1 project from the examples folder. If we view this board in 3D mode, we will notice that most of its components have 3D bodies. To produce true mechanical drawings of this board, companies would typically export it as a step file and use mechanical CAD software to produce them. When changes are made to this board, another re-export and re-import of this step file must be carried out, followed by a redraw of the drawings. These additional unnecessary work can be avoided by using a draftsman document within Altium Designer, which abides by its inherent unified design concept. We can add a draftsman document to this project by right-clicking on the project in the projects panel, followed by add new to project, and click draftsman document. Here, we can choose from a list of default draftsman templates. Documents created from the template will have content placed as how it was defined in the template. However, since we would like to start from a blank slate, we will create a draftsman document from a default template. Ensure to enable all layers and point to the SL1 Silings project and PCB. Then, simply click OK. Like in other editors, when nothing is selected, the Properties panel will allow us to configure the document options. In its General tab, we can define its grid settings, source, variant choice, line options, and units. We can ensure that this sheet is of a specific template by going into the Page Options tab. In here, we will ensure to select Template and choose NCB from the list of default sheet templates dropdown. We can then add multiple sheets or pages to this document by right-clicking on an empty space within this document followed by Add Sheet. We will add another sheet to make this document a three-sheet document for now. Notice that in the title block, the strings are still showing the parameter name instead of their values. This is because they are not yet defined in neither our project or document. Parameters are listed within Properties panel under Parameters tab. Here, we can choose to show Project, System, and PCB parameters. These parameters, however, are read-only and cannot be modified from this panel. That being said, we can add and modify document parameters from this panel. We can add a document parameter by clicking on Add. Then, we will type document number and provide it a value of PROD underscore 123. We can add a project parameter by going to Project Options under the Parameters tab. In here, we will add a parameter called Company Name and provide it a value of Altium Training. We will then see the strings on our title block being updated with the two newly created parameters. Recall that document parameters are local and unique for this file only, while project parameters are global and common for all files within the project. Like in both schematic and PCB editors, we can use the familiar mouse and keyboard gestures to zoom and pan within this editor. Hold Ctrl and scroll up and down to zoom in and zoom out. We can also hold the middle mouse button while pushing the mouse up and down to zoom in and zoom out. Right-click and hold to pan the editor around the window. Scrolling the mouse will pan up and down, while holding the shift key while scrolling the mouse would pan left and right. We can also access the view menu using the V key as well. 
various objects can be added to this document from the place menu. That includes board design views such as assembly, fabrication, drill drawing, and isometric views. Board information tables such as drill table, bill of materials, and layer stack legend can also be placed from this menu. Various dimensions and GDNT annotations can also be placed on the board design views. Lastly, other graphical objects and custom tables or notes to improve document detail and clarity can also be placed. We will first add an assembly view of our spirit level board onto this document. By default, the top side view of the board will be added. We will now perform a copy and paste of this view. We will double click on the duplicated view to open its properties. Then, we will change its view side to right in the properties panel. We will perform a similar procedure for left view and front view representations. We can also add isometric view of this board onto this document. Note that any of these views can be scaled up or down from the properties panel, which is helpful when working with boards that are relatively larger or smaller than the sheet. Detailed views can also be used if an area is to be enlarged for easier readability by the assembly floor individuals. Section views can also be added. When in this mode, use the space bar to toggle between horizontal or vertical cut of the board. The first left click defines the position where the section is initiated. Then, move the cursor up or down to set the view direction. Left click again to confirm the view direction and finally place the section view in the desired location. Once we are done placing these assembly views, we will place dimensions on the crucial areas of the board. Firstly, we will place linear dimensions on the horizontal and vertical board edge to edge. It is important to note that these dimensions can be made to show dual units through the Properties panel. Radial dimensions can then be placed on the mounting holes. For this dimension, we can define its tolerance to ensure fit. In our next sheet, we can place a layer stack legend. This table will show information as defined in the PCB document within layer stack manager. Bill of materials can also be added to the sheet. When working with a large list of components, the bill of materials can be split as well by checking on limit page height within its properties. If additional parameters are to be added to this table, they can be enabled within the Columns tab of the Properties panel. Callouts which corresponds to the line number in the Bill of Materials can also be placed on the components within the assembly view. For example, when a callout is placed on U1 in the assembly view, it will be numbered as 39, which exactly matches its line number in the bill of materials. In the next sheet, we will place fabrication views, where each view shows objects on a layer of interest. Since this is a two layer board, we will place a fabrication view for the top layer and the bottom layer. As of right now, the polygon is rendered as a fill cell, 
For most cases, polygons are preferred to be rendered as hatched. This can also be configured within their properties panel. As a proof of concept, we will place fabrication view on the top silk screen layer as well. Usually, drill drawings are also included in board production drawings. We will add another sheet and place this drill drawing view. This view should then be scaled up so that its drill drawing symbols can be easily distinguished. Its corresponding drill table can then be placed. Configuration of this drill table to include additional columns such as drill layer pair or hole type can be done within its properties panel. Now, let's try to make a change on our board and see how the draftsman document can be updated to reflect those changes. We will make a very simple but drastic change to our PCB, where we will delete the LCD. Note that this component is locked, so we would have to unlock it first prior to selecting and deleting it. Conventionally, the board production drawings would have to be recreated. The step file would have to be re-exported and re-imported into a mechanical CAD tool, followed by a redraw of the drawings. Fabrication and assembly drawings would have to be regenerated from the eCAD tool. As opposed to all that time-consuming tasks, here is how it is done in Drossman. Open the Drossman document. For this document to be updated with the changes made on the board, we will simply go to Tools, Update Board. It will then automatically apply the changes made on all the objects on this document, including the various design views and tables. This document can be exported to a PDF document through the file menu. It can also be included in the outjob document, which is an output configuration document. We will further discuss this document later in this training. In this module, we utilize the Drossman document to produce board production drawings. In the next module, we will learn to configure and produce the bill of material for procurement.